Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we shall talk about the effectiveness of charge carrier. We know that the charge carrier is usually electron, except in the semiconductor, there are holes also. And the electron has a fixed mass that is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg. But when the electron move in the energy band, it looks like that a particle moving with a different mass than the mass of a free electron, which we call the effective mass. This is because of the shape of the band and also because of the presence of ions. So we, today we'll talk about this effective mass and derive an expression for this. To understand why the mass of the electron to be different when it's moving in a lattice, let's assume a one dimensional lattice and uh, assume that the each atom contributing one electron so that they become positive ion to the system which can move freely. So the when the electron moves freely within the boundary of the system at different places it feels different kind of potential. So if we look at the shape of the potential the columbic potential then it, at when electrons is at the top of the ion or uh, the close to the ion, the potential drops as a one by R because the potential here we can see is calculated with one by four pi epsilon naught E minus E divided by the separation between the charge and the ion. So here I assume that the uh, these ions are one positive ion and E equals 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 Coulomb. So when electrons are at the top of the ion, it uh, feels like the potential drops, but when it is in between the two atoms, the case is different. So as the electron moves it at different places, it sees different potential. So the acceleration of the electron and the momentum of the electron would be different at different uh, positions along the path of its motion. Now to derive an expression for that, let's uh, start with the de Broglie hypothesis. The de Broglie says that the wavelength of the electron or the particle is related to the momentum with this expression. So we have momentum equals H by lambda. Now with the simplification we have, or with uh, some manipulation, we have H cut K where h cat is the Planck's constant and the k is the wave vector. It is twice pi over lambda. Now we know that p, uh, sorry, energy is really equals to p square by 2m. This is the kinetic energy. So since p equals h cat k, we can write it with this expression. At the same time, the momentum is equals mass into velocity. So from this expression, we can have the velocity equals h cut k by m star. Again, m star is the effective mass of the electron. Now, since E equals h cut square k square by 2m, if we take a derivative of E with respect to k, then we have this one, h cut k by m multiplied with h cut, but this is nothing but the velocity. So we have velocity into h cut. So from here, we have another expression for the velocity of the particle that is equal to one by h cut multiplied with the rate of change of energy with respect to wave vector. Now, if an electric field is applied uh, to the crystal, the electron will feel a force F equals minus E multiplied with the value of the electric field. Therefore, the rate of absorption of energy for the electron will be minus E multiplied with the potential multiplied with the velocity. Actually, this is the power absorbed by the moving object or moving charge in our case. Now again, we can write dE by dt equals 
de by dk into dk by dt and we know de by dk from here equals vh cut and if we put them together we have b equals sorry we have h cut dk by dt that is we are trying to find out what is the value of this expression dk by dt with this one and with this one we have that is equal to f so we have dk by dt equal f divided by h cut now we know that the acceleration related to the velocity with this expression that is the rate of change of velocity is acceleration so dv by dt can be written as dv by dk multiplied by dk by dt now we know dk by dt is equal to from here we know uh, dk by dt is equals f by h cut and also we know that v equals 1 by h cut de by dk so if we put them together and after simplification we have a equals 1 by h cut square d square e by dk square into f now this is actually nothing but like the newton's newton equation which is to be exact is f equal m a if we consider this then we see that this term is actually 1 by m so we write it 1 by m star equals this term therefore we have the effective mass expression for the effective mass equal m star equals a cat square divided by second derivative of e with respect to the wave vector now from here we see that if de by sorry d square e by dk square is large the mass will be small and if this second derivative or the curvature is small then the mass will be large so the mass is not fixed it depends on the curvature of the energy band also we know that uh, if we take this is the simple form of the energy which is a parabolic but in reality this is not that so in this region this is the first brillion zone in the region close to the origin the energy is parabolic the so the effective mass is positive but in the boundary of the brillion zone the curvature is negative so energy is also negative sorry the effective mass is also negative so the effective mass can be positive and also can be negative but for this region the the parabolic region the if we take the second derivative of this region and put it here we will see that the particle or the electron uh, have electron behave like its mass is the regular electronic mass the free electronic mass but in this uh, position or in that uh, areas of the energy band or the mass is not the regular electronic mass so this is the expression that we have and we uh, can conclude that the effective mass depends on the ek curvature that is the band structure of the uh, system and uh, the simplest one that we can conclude is to be parabolic in that case the energy of the conduction band would be the value of the this value energy value at this point plus the parabolic shape that's this one and the, for the whole it would be this one minus h square square k square by 2 me so that it look like a parabolic that's all for today Thank you.